Very good morning to all the students. Today we are going to do lesson 5 of your grammar book that is numbers. Now there are two types of numbers in English grammar that is singular number and plural number. You are familiar with these two words right and today we are going to read about singular and plural in more details. Singular number a noun that denotes one creature or thing are said to be singular number. When we are talking about only single person, animal or thing, we call it in a singular number. Plural number, a noun that denotes more than one person or thing, we call it a plural number. When we are talking about more than one person, animal or things, we call it in a plural number. Okay, now let us have some singular noun and its plurals. Okay, now see, for boy, it is boys, box, boxes, city, cities, knife, knives, tooth, teeth, police, police. Okay, now looking at these singular and their plural forms, the question comes to our mind is that how can we make the plural of any singular noun? Is there any rules for it? Because here we can see that there are different ways of making plural of singular nouns. For that we have used S here, ES, then again ES, then VES, then double E, then same police is repeated here. Okay, so is there any rules for making the plural of singular nouns? Okay, yes, there are some rules by using that, we can make the plural of the singular nouns, okay? So let us go through these rules one by one. Rule number one, the noun that ends in S, double S, SH, CH, or X, we add ES to the singular to make the plural form, all right? Let us see some example. Bus, it ends with S. So we add ES to make it plural. Then bench ends with CH. So we add ES to make the plural that is benches. Class double S. So classes. Dish SH. So dishes. Box. It ends with X. So boxes. Bush. Again ends with SH. So bushes. All right. There is an important note in rule one children, okay? When the pronunciation of noun that ends with CH, okay, is as K, then we add S, not ES to get the plural form. Suppose some noun ends with CH, okay? And the CH at the end is pronounced as K, all right? Then we add S, not ES to make the plural form. Let us see some example. Stomach. Here, CH is pronounced as K, stomach. Okay, so we add S to make the plural form, that is stomachs. Monarch. All right, so here CH is pronounced as K, so we add S to make the plural form, that is monarchs. All right. Rule number two. The noun that ends in O. All right. It is for the nouns that ends with letter O. There are two conditions here, children. Okay. The first one is when there is a vowel before O, we add S to get the plural form. So whenever there is a vowel before the last letter O, we have to add S to get the plural form. Okay. For example, radio. In radio, we have I, the vowel before O. So we add S, radios, to make it a plural form. Bamboo. Here again, we have O as a vowel before the last letter O. So we add S to make the plural form. That is bamboos. All right. Now, condition number two. When there is a consonant before O, all right. Whenever there is a consonant before the last letter O, we have to add ES to get the plural form. We add ES. All right. Let us see some example. 
potato here we have the consonant t before o so we add es that is potatoes mango again we have the consonant g so we add es and makes it mangoes hero we have the consonant r so we add es that is heroes all right as i just said in the condition 2 that whenever there is a consonant before the last letter o we have to add es okay but there are some exceptions all right for example logo here we have g the consonant before o but still we are going to add s to make its plural photo photos piano pianos all right so we are adding s here to make the plural form though there is a consonant before o but still for making their plurals we are adding s these are some exceptions in rule number two okay rule number three noun that ends in f or fe we replace f or fe with ves all right so we have to remove the f or fe from that noun and in place of that we have to add ves okay let us see some example thief f at the end so we replace f with ves and it becomes thieves knife fe at the end so we replace fe with ves and it becomes knives wolf again f so we replace f with ves and it becomes wolves calf we replace f with ves and it becomes calves all right children there are some exception in rule number three also all right there are some nouns that ends with f but we do not replace f with ves all right so there are some examples for example proof the plural is proofs roof roofs chief chiefs dwarf dwarfs handkerchief handkerchiefs all right for these nouns which ends with f we have to put s to make it plural all right these are some exceptions so you have to learn it by heart and your work will be done all right Rule number four the noun that ends in y there are two conditions here also okay the first one when there is a vowel before a y we add s to get the plural form all right whenever there is a vowel before the last letter y we have to add s to get the plural form okay let us see some examples toy toys okay here's a vowel before the last letter y so we add s and made it toys boy boys key keys day days okay here we had the vowel e here we had the vowel a so we added s to make the plural form now the second condition when there is a consonant before y we replace y with i e s to get the plural form so wherever there is a consonant before y we have to replace the y with i e s to get the plural form okay let us see some examples story so here we have the consonant r before y so we replace y with i e s and made the plural stories country here we have the consonant r before y so we replace y with i e s and made it countries baby the consonant b so we replace y with i e i e s and we made it babies city the consonant t so we replace y with i e s and made it cities okay rule number five some nouns do not follow any rules to make their plurals all right the plural is formed just by changing the inside vowel or vowels all right there is no particular rule let us see some example like men 
the plural is men. Here the vowel A is changed as E. Women. The plural is women. Okay. Here again the vowel A is changed to E. Tooth. The plural is teeth. The vowel double O is changed to double E. Mouse. The plural is mice. The O and U vowels are changed with I. Goose. The plural is geese. The vowel double O changed with double E. Foot. The plural is feet. Again, the vowels double O is changed with double E. All right. So, as I told you in the beginning, there is no rule for it. So, for such nouns, you have to learn their plural forms. Okay. Rule number six. By putting en or ren at the end, we make the plural form. There are some nouns. The plural form of such nouns are made by just putting en or ren at the end. Let us see some examples. Child. We add ren and make it children. The plural form of child. Ox. We add en. Oxen. The plural form of ox. Brother. We add en. Brethren. To make the plural form of brother. Okay. The plural form of brother is also brothers. So you can use any one of them. All right. Rule number seven. For compound nouns by adding S or EN, we make the plural forms. All right. So let us see some example of the compound nouns and their plural forms. Son-in-law. Okay. It's a compound noun. The plural form of son-in-law is sons-in-law. Okay. So here we just added S to son and made it sons-in-law. Brother-in-law. The plural is brothers in law all right so we added s to the brother and made the plural form of brother in law that is brothers in law mother in law again we added s to mother to make the plural form of mother in law stepson step sons we added s to son to make the plural of stepson that is step sons Maid servant. The plural is maid servants. So we added S to servant to make the plural form of maid servant. That is maid servants. Okay. Rule number eight and the final rule. Some nouns have same form in singular and plural. Okay. For some nouns, their form do not change in the plural form. Okay. Let us see some examples. Sheep. Fish, deer, species, aircraft, police, spacecraft, pain, dozen. All right. These are some words whose plural form doesn't change. They remain same in the singular as well as in the plural form. Okay. Okay, children. Just now we discussed some rules of writing the plural of singular nouns. I hope these rules will help you in understanding the numbers in grammar. Okay. If you have any doubts, you can write down in the query section. And for your assignments, you have to complete the exercise of lesson 5 numbers. Okay. Till then, God bless you and thank you very much.